In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace a rear brake hose on your Nissan Ultima. The process is the same for both sides. Before starting the brake hose job, I'm going to put a brake pedal depressor, pushing on the brake pedal so that the fluid does not keep leaking once I take the brake line off of the caliper. Using a 21 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the five lug nuts. Remove the rear wheel. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, loosen the line. Make sure you have a bucket under to catch any fluid that escapes. Pull the line up and out. Using a pair of pliers, remove the holding bracket for the brake line. Pull the brake hose down. Using an 11 millimeter socket, remove the bolt on the back of the caliper. It's going to be two copper washers, one on each side of the line. They sometimes get stuck on the caliper. Make sure you remove both of these before you reinstall this bolt. Grab your two new washers, install one onto the bolt, install the bolt into the brake line, and then put the other washer on the other side. Install the brake line into the caliper. This will only go one way. There is a spot for the line to be held inside of the caliper. A little hole that that tab will fit into. Just like that. Snug this bolt down, torque the union bolt to 13 foot-pounds. Pull the brake hose up, put it in the bracket. Install the lock. You can use a little hammer or something to kind of hit it into place. Remove the brake pedal depressor. Using an eight millimeter wrench, we're gonna crack the bleeder screw. We're gonna let the caliper gravity bleed. We're gonna wait until there's no bubbles coming out of the stream. While doing this process, make sure you don't run the master cylinder dry. You may have to add fluid Once you don't see any bubbles coming out of the end of the bleeder, go ahead and close it back up. Clean any of the area that got wet. You can use a bit of parts cleaner. Start the car, press on the pedal a few times, and make sure you don't see any fluid coming out of this connection or this connection. After you press on the pedal and there's no fluid coming out, you're good to go. Install the tire back onto the car. Install your five lug nuts.
tighten down the wheel in a star pattern. With your car on the ground, go ahead and torque your wheel. Torque it in a star pattern to 95 foot-pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.